everyone. Welcome to Sacred Insight. I'm Andrea Bacon, and I hope you're all having a blessed day, evening, or whenever you're listening. Well, we are in a time of changing seasons, and that is literal as well as metaphorically. So more and more people are feeling this internal call or shift to live a more soul-led life. Now, if that is you, you might feel a stronger need to engage in a little more self-care or just having some more alone time than you normally would. Alone time is pretty important just to kind of sit in the quiet and kind of get still and centered pretty much on a daily basis if we can. But this is because we as a collective are going through a lot of transition, a lot of spiritual growth, and it's kind of speeding up for a lot of people. And, you know, in a way, every path is a spiritual path, right? Because we're spirits in a body engaging in this human life experience. So everything we do, every path we take ultimately leads to growth, right? But we learn from everything. However, we don't always embody the lessons and then end up making a different choice. So sometimes we repeat the lessons and sometimes we do things over and over again, you know, expecting different results. But I do feel now that we are having more opportunities open up for us and our greater good and happiness to bring in more abundance and fulfilling, prosperous lives. So when we have the courage to take next steps and level up from where you currently are, you know, whatever is right for you, whichever, because it's different for everybody. Everyone's path is different. And then we will allow more joy and more happiness um, and just really allow that inner child to come out regularly. I think I said that recently too, but it's coming up again from our guides and angels because this is going to bring in more vitality, more excitement to life and open up your creative endeavors. And creativity is important. It doesn't always have to be something that you're going to do for a living, although it can be, but it's, you know, it's an energy to tap into that is flowing and it brings in new things. So it's it's good to be able to tap in to creativity in whatever way um, you want to. But there's also this message coming through about having clear communication. So instead of eating around the bush with people when certain things come up that you maybe don't want to be involved in, um, kind of like be clear, you know, up front. And it can be done in a, a very loving way. But this is in order to really help you have and uphold boundaries. So a lot of impasse are people pleasers. A lot of us are impasse that are on the spiritual path or we are recovering people pleasers. And, you know, being kind is a wonderful attribute, but just remember to be kind to yourself as well. So anyway, we're going to take a caller now, Megan in Salt Lake City. Are you there? I'm here. Hi, how are you? I'm all right. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, what would you like answered today? Um, it's just general, like life. Okay. Let me see here. From Megan, the messages. Okay, so some something is coming up around travel and having some type of professional assistance. So there is this message from your guides and angels to switch your thoughts around if there's some things coming up for you um, that have to do with, you know, feeling lower or having lower mood or something like that. There's They're talking about being grateful for just anything that you can in the moment. Um, 
because there is new, there are new opportunities coming in. There are new things for you coming up. Okay. Um, some things that I don't know. I just it feels like there's this blossoming because we got this abundance card and there's just a lot of blossoming energy, um, some new energy coming up. And then we also have with this travel card, um, a lot of blossoming energy as well. Um, and so I think that they're wanting to talk about, like I said, kind of visualizing, switching those thoughts to something a little more um, on the path that you're wanting to go on, if that makes sense. That makes some kind of sense. Okay, so, you know, having, yeah, it's about having a little bit of a higher perspective on the situations and whatnot that are, you know, you're dealing with right now. Okay. They, I don't know if writing is something that you've thought about doing, but it's, that's also a message that's coming up, just kind of like writing your thoughts down on a daily basis, like the stream of consciousness and, you know, just kind of getting everything out for the day that's on your mind. And it, that can help I you kind of- I did a journal, so. Okay. Okay, so that is coming up and then talking about some kind of ancestral energy as well. Um, like going back to your roots. So I don't know if you want to travel somewhere and go back to somewhere that your family lineage comes from, but that's coming up. I don't know, have you thought ever about doing something like that? Um, I can't fly to Greece or that'd be a little more out of my price range. Right, well, Maybe um, if that's if you're wanting to travel, since that is coming up the message, and it's like yeah, well, I want to I want to leave the state for sure. Okay, um, maybe have you tried to kind of like manifest that or surrender that over, and then um, kind of surrendering those thoughts over that you know the funds aren't there right now, so that that's something that you're actually going to be able to allow some new energy to come in for you. If you kind of work on that a little bit. Yeah. Uh, well, I definitely like doubt it. So. Right. It? Yeah. Um, you know, like writing down some things that you would like to do that feel out of your reach and um, visualize, visualize it, you know, uh, meditate on it and maybe do some more inspired writing about that like after you meditate on it sit down and do a journal session for like 10 minutes everything that just comes through just write it all down and you might get some answers on that as well um so that's coming up for something that you can do um and then surrendering it all over because we don't we can only control how we feel. We can only control what we think. And we can't control really other circumstances. At some point we have to just kind of like surrender any circumstances over to the universe in order to take, take it from us. And then we can um, kind of open the energy up some to be able to allow possibly new things to come in at some point. Um, oh, I'll get that. What's that? I get that. I, I can see that's something I need to work on. Okay. So, yeah, that's something that you can work on because it's like you're, you have a unique perspective. That's a uh, spirit saying you have a unique perspective about things and to tap into your uniqueness more. Do things in the way that, you know, your 
your spirit would have you do them and not not diminishing that because other people might, you know, not understand it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see what else. All right. And then let me see. Um, you know, taking, they're also talking about embodying these things, grounding these things, um, taking action, inspired action from a state of feeling grounded and really centered so that you can kind of allow things to flourish in their own time. And it just, it helps integrate some of these lessons that I was actually just talking about that in the intro, but it helps, you know, some of the lessons that we're learning and going on that spirit led path is coming up to be able to help you integrate all the lessons. So anyway, that is going to do it for me. I hope this helps. Thank you. All right. Thank you for calling. All right, everybody, that is going to do it for me. If you would like to check out any readings or any sessions that I offer, you can go to stand.store slash medium Andrea. And I'm going to be offering coaching in, within the next month or so from um, the Chopra Institute where I'm getting my certification. So that's exciting, but thank you. Have a great week.